Hello YouTube, it's Krosama. And here I have from the Index Edge style, the Gundam Exia. Now this is a line that's kind of like a super deformed um, you know, robot series, uh, but they have a little bit longer on, uh, they're a little bit longer with their uh, ligaments, so their arms and legs and all that. Uh, the proportions are just a little bit longer, um, not like the completely super deformed, but it's, it's pretty close enough. Um, but overall, I am actually very, very much in love with this line of figures. So I really love the, you know, the kind of aesthetics that these uh, really bring. Um, I have a couple of my collection already. I already have the Strike Freedom, I have the Barbatos, um, the Phantom Ghost uh, Crossbone. No, I think it's just the Phantom Crossbone. Yeah, Phantom Crossbone and the Destiny. So I already have quite a few in my collection and I am trying to collect as many as I can. Uh, but overall, this is a pretty cool figure. So just looking at the box, uh, it's a pretty pretty good looking box. Um, you know, very basic, nothing really too uh, crazy. And then on the side, you do see Exia right there. And on this side, you just see some nice little poses and some details. Uh, so you can kind of see like it has the, the clear um, like I don't know what they're if they're gonna be called they're not condensers but uh, just like clear pieces on the side of the head and then you see some of the mechanical stuff when it comes to the weapons and then you also see uh, it's gonna have like a little stand so you can go ahead and pose the uh, the GN swords right there and then you can kind of like pose them in some um, pretty cool aerials uh, aerial poses um, now I don't think the retail price is on this um, I think it goes like maybe around like like 25 bucks or so um, so I think I think that's a very decent price um, maybe it could be a little bit uh, lower um, and that's, that's kind of like the only reason I bought this one in particular because I, I bought it for uh, about 16 bucks um, so I was like you know that's a fairly decent price and um, if it was going for like 25 bucks or higher I probably would have waited a little bit longer um, but overall not really too bad so let's go ahead and open this up Okay, and here's everything that's going to come in the box. But the first thing we're going to take a look as the articulation of the main mobile suit. Okay, so the articulation is as you you know would expect it from any other NX Edge uh, figure. But if this is like your first time seeing one of these, um, they do have a pretty decent range of movement. But it's actually it's kind of limited uh, just due to the fact that it's so. Um, it's just such a small little figure that they really can't put like such a large a uh, large range of movement. So let's go ahead and take a look at the head. Uh, basically up and down, it's gonna be on like a little ball joint, so uh, that's not really too bad at all. Um, actually, it's pretty good, so ain't gonna really have any issues with that. And then the shoulders, they can move up and down, and then the bicep underneath it can go ahead and um, rotate all the way around, and then the arm, can go up about that far, which isn't really too bad, uh, and then can come out about that far. Then the waist can go ahead and turn back and forth. Uh, the foot or well, the leg can only go up that much, and then can only go out uh, about that much. So not really. Well, that's actually that's pretty decent. And whoops. <laughs> And then the leg is only going to be able to go out that far because uh, it's going to be all on a little ball joint, so it's going to be pretty limited. And then the the uh, knee part can actually bend uh, that much, so that's actually pretty good. And then the foot is going to be on a little ball joint right inside there, so it can kind of just move all the way around. Okay, so taking a look at the surface details, you're definitely going to be able to tell right away that there's a lot of surface detail, a lot of panel lines, uh, but it's actually missing quite a few uh, paint, you know, locations. So uh, some of the green on the um, outside of the arms, that's going to be missing. And then on the back, uh, it's going to be missing a little bit of paint uh, for the GN drives. Uh, looks like maybe some stuff on the back skirt. Um, but actually overall, it's not, it's not really too bad. It has a lot of different panel lines, so you're definitely going to be able to, uh, to go, you know, pretty much go to town if you want to go ahead and panel line this kit. Okay, so the first accessories I want to take a look at is going to be the GM Blade Long and the GM Blade Short. So obviously, these are not going to have any problem going into the hands, and they're going to look pretty good, uh, to say the least. So if you want to go ahead and display it with the GM Blades, uh, you're definitely going to be able to. Okay, and the next accessories you're gonna have are going to be the beam daggers. Uh, so pretty much you can go ahead and um, I, I think these will be more appropriate for throwing. However, I don't have any kind of accessory to kind of mimic that, but you can just go ahead and plug these right into the hands, no problem. 
and then you can go ahead and display it with the GN daggers. Um, I think it looks pretty cool, uh, but these are pretty much the weapons I would prefer seeing um, you know Axia throw in action. So if you ever get like some claw um, like claw uh, accessories for the stands, uh, you can definitely do so like that. And the next accessories you're gonna have are going to be the GM Beam Sabers. And then here he is in one of his iconic poses. Uh, so obviously, you know, these are just like the regular BM, um, the GM daggers. Uh, so if you wanna go ahead and use these in any kind of way you want, you can go ahead and do so. Now, if you don't want to uh, go ahead and display it with the BM, uh, with the GM uh, beam sabers, you can go ahead and detach it and then plug them right into the backs of the arm and then also on the back skirts. And there you go. So you can go ahead and have it displayed uh, with all these attached to the back. Now you also get these blade latches. So all you have to do is take off uh, the sides right here and then you plug these right in. And then you can go ahead and plug this right into there. And now you can go ahead and holster uh, some of its other weapons like the GM blades. Okay, and we still have the GN shield, so this can just easily be displayed on the arm, like so. And then we also have the GN sword. Uh, so this is actually one of my favorite weapons in the Gundam 00 universe. Uh, I think it's like really, really awesome and badass. Now it is gonna have a hand that's gonna be pretty much permanently molded into there. Uh, and then this little piece right here can you know rotate, so um, you basically are gonna have to take off the hand and then attach it to there. And here it is with the GN sword, uh, pretty much in the blaster mode. So I think it looks pretty cool, and it's also going to be able to transform into the GN like sword mode, just like so. Uh, so it's going to look really good. I'm not seeing any kind of like issues with it. It holds up really well. It's very very tight. Uh, so I don't really see this like loosening up uh, throughout time. But if it does, obviously it's uh, some pretty easy fixes. So we do have a couple of other accessories. Let's go ahead and get into those right now. And you also get a pair of open hands, uh, so if you want to do some dynamic poses, you could definitely do so with these hands. Now you're also going to have some clear parts, so if you take the back of the head off and then place the clear part right behind here, if you take the GN drive off and you have a clear piece, you can go ahead and place this right over it. You will then be able to see uh, pretty much all like the inner green. Uh, well, pretty much all the clear green if you hold it next to a light. That's just, that's just pretty much how they uh, want you to display it if you do have the clear pieces on there, which, you know, to be fair, it looks really, really good. And one of the other accessories that comes uh, with it is not only going to be the stand, but you're going to get this clear piece right here that you can actually plug in uh, the GM blades into. So I, I think it looks okay, but I honestly would much prefer to have these uh, on the mobile suit itself. Okay, so what are my final thoughts? Well, I think this is a really, 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 really dope looking figure. Um, it's one of those that I'm just really, really happy to have in my collection, uh, just due to the fact that it looks so dynamic. It, it, it's, this posability is really, really good. Um, no kind of issues. And then on top of that, these things are really like, it, they can function so well together so you can kind of just put them all on like one big old stand and then have them branch off so like once I get the other ones I have in my collection the uh, the strike freedom as well as the destiny um, you know when I get all of them uh, from my uh, from the state side then I'm gonna just display them all together and I do plan on getting more I know they have the um, I think it's the Superior Gundam, or it's the EX Superior Gundam. I, I want to get that one. Uh, they also have like a couple of the other ones, um, the uh, uh, the Wing Zero. I want to get that one. They have the Perfect Strike, so that one's going to be pretty cool. Uh, but overall, guys, like these are really, really awesome figures. Uh, I did already review um, the Phantom. I have not reviewed the Barbados uh, yet. Actually, I think I might have, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, maybe I haven't. Uh, so I haven't uh, reviewed the Barbados. Uh, but as I keep getting these, um, yeah, I'm, 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 gonna, I'm definitely going to review them and I'm just going to keep on adding them to my uh, overall collection. 
but as you can see like these things are really awesome and um, they just they work really well together but that's it for me guys um, if you want to see more of these NX Edge uh, reviews uh, definitely let me know in the comments below uh, and then let me know what your thoughts are if you have any of these yourself or if you are planning to get any of them um, which ones we, you know are you planning on getting but that's all for me guys definitely thanks for watching uh, please rate comment subscribe ring that bell for future notifications of uh, reviews or any other type of videos uh, that I might put out but other than that guys thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next review bye bye